Hi, I'm Kim. You're watching Kim Wilson TV. My channel is dedicated to helping victims of narcissistic abuse get free and stay free. This is part two of a two-part video series called MGTOW Revisited. Now, whether or not you believe there is a global agenda to destroy all of us, well, that's irrelevant because it is a fact and there's plenty of evidence to substantiate that fact. And all of it, all of it stems from extreme narcissism at the highest levels. It is a big idea, a new world order. It's no longer a theory. What I'm about to say is fact. The secret organizations of the world power elite are no longer secret. They have planned and are now leading us into a one world communist government. Now, you may see yourself as somewhat removed from this. Now, whether you are here watching this video because you're a victim of narcissistic abuse and you recognize that fact, or you're here as a member of MGTOW um, trying to, again, explain why your lives are better off without women, either way, there truly is a connection between the New World Order uh, radicalized feminism and MGTOW and all of this is just a massive circle jerk to drive us against each other when what we so desperately need right now is unity. We need to have conversation that includes something other than calling women horrible names or blaming each other because truly we are all pawns in this game and until we wake up to it we're all going to be free falling down the rabbit hole just as they expected we would. We were talking, you were talking, and he started laughing. He said, Aaron, what do you think women's liberation was about? And uh, I said, I, I'm pretty conventional thinking about it at that point. I said, I think it's about women having the right to work, getting equal pay with men, just like they won the right to vote, you know? And he started to laugh. He said, you're an idiot. And I said, why am I an idiot? He said, you want me, let me tell you what that was about. We, the Rockefellers, funded that. We funded women's lib. You know, and we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He says, there were two primary reasons. And they were, one reason was we couldn't tax half the population before women's live. And the second reason was now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think. So it breaks up their family. The, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. Now, in the first video, uh, I made reference to a comment, let men be men and let women be women. Now, when you think about the traditional role that men play in the family, it was that of protector, provider. So when you eliminate men, you've eliminated that protective force, thus making the entire family vulnerable. The court systems are helping to diminish men and the family structure has lost that protective force, that role that men have so frequently played. And I don't mean just here in the West, I mean the world over. As a child growing up, I knew full well that my ginger-haired Irish father was the protector of our family. There's tons of video footage, tons of documented evidence that clearly proves that it is the globalist behind the destruction of the family unit, behind the systems that have been put in place to diminish men and really omit men as important key roles in the family, in a woman's life, and in children's lives. I mean, radicalized feminism today is actually trying to have Father's Day eliminate it. What you're about to see next is not the opinion of all women, but it is almost that zombie virus insanity that people are being afflicted with, being infected with this social narrative of the elite. Sick of being a baby factory that produces more men that will just in the future subjugate me. So the only answer to that is to kill male babies and um, just kill any man that you see, like in the streets, like any swinging dick, just kill him. Because um, we want the species to go on, but we want it only to go on with women in it. Just as men see that as utterly batshit crazy, trust me when I say, so do women. 
I'm a mad fucking witch and there's a minister on X for his everyday misogyny. Not just that one text. I'm a mad fucking witch. I'm angry to the core. As I shriek my words, I seek to settle the score. That was three crazy bunny boilers. And again, not reflective of the opinions of all women. And if you don't believe in gender equality, then you're a prick. And if you aren't actively standing up and speaking out for the rights of women, every day, even little things like when a woman is talked over in the boardroom, or when she's patronised, or when she's catcalled, or when she's touched inappropriately at work, if you don't stand up and stop that, if you don't call out your friends on their banter when they're joking about rape, then you are part of the problem. Then you actually believe that women think you're sitting around giggling in some mindless banter about rape? You are supposed to pay. Right. Take out your wallet, put down the card, yeah. and you're done. Guys, men, male figures, people that are your friends that have penises. When did it become okay for a guy to allow a girl on a date to split the tab? When? What happened to chivalry? Call the locksmith. The assumption that women are naturally better caregivers is part of patriarchy. Yes, I am that hysterical feminist who demands trigger warnings on scenes of rape and violent sexual conduct. Yes. Who the fuck is sitting around watching graphic images of violent sexual assault and rape? date with somebody and I threw my card down towards the end because that's the polite thing to do when you're a girl and the polite thing to do when you're a guy is to not accept my card. <laughs> oh wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Why don't guys know that that's the thing? I know that it's weird that we play a couple of different games with them. So who exactly is playing games? Well, it's not just women. Now, I've seen your make towel videos. I've seen victimized men say, hey, I saw the red flags, just like all of us here at Narcissistic Recovery Channels have seen. Be it men or women, heterosexual or gay, we all saw the red flags. And in some kind of trance-like state, as a result of the idealization and relentless love bombing, we didn't act on them. We didn't act on them, and so many of the members of, of MGTOW also saw them, but didn't act on them always stood firm on the fact that darkness is attracted to light and whether or not you believe uh, your narc was evil or not is irrelevant. I happen to know sure as shit that my narc was evil as fuck. The reality is good people, decent people are targeted by these monsters with no agenda other than to destroy their life physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, to destroy their careers, to incapacitate them. This, my friends, is real. I'm seeing a lot of similarities at narcissistic recovery groups and MGTOW. And I believe what's happening is there is this common idea that everybody is narcissistic, that everybody's a psychopath, that everybody's out to get you. And I believe that's because of the elimination of good people. They've been driven into self-imposed isolation because of fear. They don't want to go through it again. I too was financially abused, so I get it that you're pissed off about that. I'm not saying date. I'm not saying get married. But if you completely give up on the prospect of love, if you completely give up on the prospect of the family structure ever being restored, well, the agenda's won. They've won. This social narrative that all women are evil or all men are evil is just utter bullshit. And if you've bought into this, you're falling down the rabbit hole. People need to come together and they need to do it very quickly. This is a time for conversation. And I'm not talking about narcs and psychopaths. I'm talking about real human beings that actually give a fuck what happens on this planet and what our children will be left with. Narcissism amongst both men and women is absolutely rampant, and one thing that we do have now is the ability to spot them and avoid them. Kim, you're watching Kim Wilson TV. I hope you guys are having a great NARC-free day.